Hi there and welcome again. In this video, we will talk about uh, one of the most important factors that affect uh, our architectural design when we think about the building and the energy use of in this building. This factor, the geographical location factor, is uh, significantly important while taking the, the design decisions. What I mean by the geographical location is, of course, when we design uh, a building in Singapore, for example, it's not going to be having the same uh, attributes or like the same materials and like factors and uh, parameters uh, of this building as when we design it for uh, some place in uh, North Europe, for example. Um, th these are two very different climates. So a building that is located in a more hot uh, climate, warm climate, will uh, take the most significant uh, energy to cooling this building while uh, the, in the opposite when uh, we design for a cold climate the most of the uh, of our energy will be spent on heating uh, this building even in the same climate like if i have like two buildings in a similar climate the surroundings or the wind direction also it differs from a place from an area to an area that's why we need to consider uh, analyzing the uh, the climate before starting the uh, design process before we move forward with the factors that we we need to analyze about a climate uh, we should know that there are uh, different climate zones basically in the world and um, there are also like uh, sub climate zones in each country by itself so for example regarding the uh, global uh, classification of like climate zones there are systems like the uh, Köppen Giger classification uh, or the US uh, Department of Energy system uh, that uh, divides the world into different climate zones uh, based on factors like uh, for example average temperature or humidity and like other factors it goes as we as we see from hot to moderate to uh, cold and uh, what in between and regarding the sub climate zone classifications as i mentioned um, the, in each country i'm going to mention the uh, example of turkey so for example this country has four different climate zones that the building code in Turkey differs from one area to the other. So if my project location is in the area number four, I'm going to be, uh, like according to the regulations of Turkey, I'm going to be needing more isolation uh, value of my walls and of my structure more than when I built to the, uh, the area that is number one. So this is what it helps, uh, like these classifications and uh, arrangements. So after we defined the climate zone of our project, what are the factors uh, that we can use from this climate zone? So what we should consider uh, by analyzing this this climate or this zone? Uh, most importantly, they are uh, temperature, the exterior temperature, uh, the prevailing wind, uh, the sun path, like the sun movement and how the sun uh, hits uh, or affects our area. Uh, rainfall, radiation, and many other uh, factors that are useful in this process. During our work, what we usually do at this uh, phase of like the, anal the analyze of the climate, we use uh, the data type, uh, the data taken from um, meteorological uh, points all around the world. So uh, we use files that are like .epw format uh, that has um, all the data collected uh, about like hour by hour temperatures and like uh, wind movement, wind speed, uh, like the sun path, the radiations and uh, rainfalls and etc. So if you will uh, check with us the practical examples that we're going to work later, we will show you how to uh, use these kind of data and uh, how to use them into your like, design and analysis and simulations. 